welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at the brand new Phoenix TK30, announced at SHOT Show in January of this year. This is Phoenix's first laser flashlight. We're going to be unboxing it, looking at the specifications, hands-on testing, and later on in the video, I'm going to be comparing it to the Ace Beam W30. I've already got a review of the W30. Check in the description of this video to go directly to there. Out of the box, you get the flashlight. The rechargeable 5000 mAh battery is with inside the flashlight. You simply remove the tab to enable the contacts. You get a Type C USB charging cable. You get a lanyard, spare o ring, holster for a belt, and also a user manual and a warranty card. First impressions is quite impressive. You do get quite a bit, more than I had with the ESP and W30. The overall presentation is quite nice. It seems like a nice product so far. This is going to be the field test. I've just hiked up the woods, or what used to be the woods. I'm um, just waiting for it to get a little bit darker, and then we're going to give the torches uh, a test. Okay, I've got both torches. I don't know if you can see the beams. The beam on the right is the Phoenix TK30, and the beam on the left is the Ace Beam W30. As you can see, if I put them a bit closer. The beams are literally like night and day. One is about twice the size of the other. The Phoenix TK30 has a much larger beam than the ASB and W30. And that's probably why the Phoenix has half the range of the ASB and W30. At 1,200 meters versus ASB's 2,400 meters. So I'm guessing the W30 has a larger divergence. It's a bit too light to make it out, but it looks as if that's the case. Right, I'm just going to take the drone up. I'm going to take the drone to 50, then 100 meters, and see what both torches perform at that range.
One of the other differences about the Ace Beam and the Phoenix is the Phoenix come in two power modes, 100 lumens and 500 lumens, whereas the Ace Beam is on or off. That's 500 lumens. And that's a hundred lumens. Now, if you have a look at the the difference between the Phoenix and the ESB. Okay, so in conclusion, the Phoenix TK30 is really a good uh, premium product flashlight. Um, it's full metal construction, fits really nice in the hand. Um, it's reasonably water and shockproof. Um, at just under 7 inches, it's identical in size to the LED Lenser P7R. It's also a lot smaller than the Ace Beam W30, which is a laser flashlight. It's also comparable in weight to the LED Lenser um, at about 250 grams. Um, ergonomics are great, uh, it's got full uh, contouring, 360, really quite nice. Um, yeah, it's what you would expect quality wise from Phoenix. Um, the beam is roughly 18 inches in diameter at um, 20 meters. Um, it's more of an off white cream color beam in regards to the Ace Beam W30, which is more of a crystal deep white. Um, they quote 1200 meters, although I'd say uh, 700 meters is going to be your maximum before the, the divergence gets too much. It's more of a, a floodlight down than a spotlight of that range. Um, the functionality wise, two functions, uh, 100 lumens versus 500 lumens. Um, the 100 lumens is fantastic for walking around and um, lighter tasks, whereas the 500 is great and comparable with the Ace Beam. Um, 5000 mAh battery will last 6 hours on low power and uh, 3 hours on uh, full power whereas the Ace Beam will only last uh, 1 hour 45 minutes on full power. The belt clip is useful but maybe unnecessary depending on how you plan to use the torch. You can remove it. Um, really is quite a nice light. Um, applications wise um, the 100 lumens you could use this for walking around, hiking, uh, even map reading, um, and basically light tasks. Where this torch really performs is in tactical um, situations. You could mount this on a, a rifle. Apparently it's uh, recoil proof from the marketing material I've seen. Um, I haven't tested it, but that's the main difference between the Phoenix and the Ace Beam. The Ace Beam will break due to the recoil. Um, of 500 lumens it'd be fantastic with great optics um, other applications for this is search and rescue this is something uh, search and rescue personnel can put in a bag or even put in a belt clip and it'd be really great for that sort of thing because it's non-obtrusive it's not too big and they're going to be carrying a torch anyway so why not this one this is really a good first entry from phoenix in their light excited phosphorus uh, technology um, relatively expensive at 270 pounds Whereas the Ace Beam I purchased for £210 and LED lenser and competing products you can get a really good torch for about £70. Um, it's disappointing that there's no real advancement in the technology, they've simply added um, a low power mode effectively. If we briefly compare both flashlights, both flashlights have an output of 500 lumens. The run time in the Ace Beam is 1 hour 45 minutes in comparison to Phoenix's 3 hour run time. Distance wise, the Ace Beam will throw a beam for 2,400 meters in comparison to Phoenix's 1,200 meters. Intensity, Candela, the Ace Beam will manage 1,450,000 in comparison to Phoenix's 363,000. Both made out of aircraft grade aluminium. The Ace Beam is about 30% larger than the Phoenix and also about 30% heavier. 
They're both impact resistant and waterproof, although the Ace Beam can be used as a diving light. Operational mode wise, the Ace Beam has on or off, whereas the Phoenix has low power, high power and stroke. Applications, the Ace Beam can then be used for diving, tactical, search and rescue, but it's too large to be used for everyday carry. Whereas the Phoenix can be used for everyday carry, tactical, hunting as it's recoil proof and search and rescue and is generally more compact. Availability, the Ace Beam has been discontinued, although the Phoenix is available online. Cost, the Ace Beam cost £210 and the Phoenix cost £270. In conclusion, the Ace Beam is best in class, it's industry leader in LEP technology but is also extremely specialised, whereas the Phoenix is excellent in performance, compact in size, and the operational modes make it more practical for our everyday tasks. Laser Excited Phosphorus is obviously a new technology. Um, I think it's going to be a game changer for flashlights. Um, it's nice to see a divergence from uh, LED and obviously condescent bulbs as well. Um, it now allows you effectively to carry a spotlight in your pocket, whereas before they used to be massive things. Uh, it's portable, efficient and extremely powerful. Uh, yeah, obviously I haven't seen uh, an innovation in flashlight technology since basically the introduction of LEDs in 2001. Uh, that being said, I still think it's an experimental technology. Manufacturers don't seem really to know what they're going to use it for. Um, their marketing differs significantly from manufacturer. For instance, the Ace Beam is marketed at divers, because it's a diving flashlight effectively. This is marked in at um, Hunters, uh, it's got all tactical material around it, uh, you see it uh, mounted to rifles and things like that. Um, in the future I'd like to see them smaller, perhaps uh, small enough to put on a keyring like you can get with LED um, torches. Um, I'd like to see dynamic power modes, the full granular um, spectrum from say 10 lumens full up to say 1000 lumens, they seem to have plateaued around 500 lumens for some reason, but nice to see um, if you could put the power down and then move it up depending on what you're using it for. Um, the other thing I'd like to see is an adjustable focus, something like the technology in the LED lenser where you can um, change the focus of the beam to spotlight or spread depending on the application you're using it for. Um, also I'd like to see them built a bit more rugged, a bit more uh, resilient um, as I know with the Ace Beam in particular, that it is um, susceptible to shocks. So you can uh, misalign the laser with the phosphorus, and obviously at that point the flashlight is ruined. So I'd like to see them uh, a bit more uh, resilient, but um, I think they might have addressed some of the issues in the Phoenix, because obviously you can mount this on a, um, a rifle, so they must have done something around that. Um, although I think the technology is here to stay, I still think uh, LED technology will continue as it is cheap and this obviously is a premium product.